Ops 29.0.0 left Baron. Studio mode checkbox. Nvidia virtual cam. Studio mode checkbox not checked. Yeah, I mean, I'm Settings button. Yeah, no, Studio check. Nvidia virtual camera button. Start virtual camera checkbox not checked. There Start you recording. go. Right, Stop well, streaming checkbox check. Microsoft Flight Simulator dash 1.30. Okay, would you be able to hear yourself too? Should be able. I think you can. Yeah. Ops okay. 29. Ops 29.0.0. Right, so and then I can hear Nvidia too. Microsoft Flight Simulator deck. Alright guys, so we're uh, again doing this flight on Avia Tide. Me and Josh are finally able to fly on here again. It's been a while, but... Com 1 colon 124.62. I, uh, I like Avia Tide. I, I enjoy it. Even, even with the AI, the AI fly, it's still fun. Uh, yeah. Ezra White. Hey man, hey Ezra, how are you what doing, we buddy? doing today? We are on 2020, flying in a uh, Cessna 172 Sky, Skyhawk G1000, I think. Um, yep. Where is that we're, we're flying to, Josh? That 5-2-W-5. In, Indian, Indian Head, Indian Head, Maryland. Yeah, Indian Head, Maryland. Taking some... Uh, Bandages. <laughs> Eight hundred bucks. But um, there's a new sound pack for 2020 lovers out there. By the way, uh, Josh sent it to me, so you can tell them about that if you want, Josh. Yeah, it's a basically record new, newly re-recorded Cessna 172 sound pack. Um, Ezra it's, White. It's got some really cool oh, nice. sounds. It's got like when you land, is that you pro can hear, ATC like, running? You take off and land. You got the, I guess the drag of the wheel. You can hear the wheels like. Yeah, you can actually hear the wheels it, like it's, it's amazing, on the ground. Dude. It's freaking cool. Um, I think you can get it for fifteen dollars. I'll uh, on my next video. I'll get the link here, and uh, we'll share it with you guys. Um, no, that's not that's not pro ATC, Ezra. That's actually. I'm flying on 2020, uh, doing a flight through Avia Type, and uh, 2020 has its own ATC. You don't need to. I mean, I guess you could. I don't know. I don't know if people would use it. You can. You can use. Uh, you could. You can use Pro ATC. I know. Um, you would just turn. That's ATC Pro ATC off. is really only good for. Yeah, Pro ATC is really only good for jets, though, like the airliners, yeah. PMDG stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, for I, offline. I don't know. I, I think 2020 does a good enough job with with the ATC anyway. So when, when I when I when I get uh, the new computer, I'm going to be doing a lot more VATSIM stuff because Shadow won't let me, you know, turn on my phone very easily. Next distance colon five nautical miles. Very colon two hundred thirty nine degrees two minutes twenty four seconds. Don't make accessible panel for turning on the microphone. So one two four decimal seven seven five freedom global international. Road Talon. So how are you doing? Com one colon what are you using? Four point seven seven. Global International one nine eight thousand. I'm flying on the laptop I had before. Remember when it used to lag on me? But it, it really was was more some updates that needed to happen. GFM update. Uh, there was an update for the sound driver that fixed it. Uh, so those, those you know little things make a big difference, but um. It worked for now, at least I can fly. Uh, knock on wood. Because <laughs> I do like 2020. I just, when, when there's lag, it's, I, I'm, I'm kind of like Josh. When it, but, like if you guys, Ezra, I don't think he was here when it was going Rook on. Rook Talon. Things are working better than ever before. Oh yeah, sounds, sounds a lot better than before. Yeah. I mean, you'll hear a little bit of like uh, static staticky kind of lag if I go with like load a browser or something like that but it clears up it goes away but hopefully I'll have my new computer here soon Josh will have his here soon and uh, I can tell you 110% that there will be no lag Coming from any direction with our new with our new computers, um, it just won't happen. 
It just won't happen. But I don't know if TFM is accurate on distance time or not. Microsoft flights. Time and route to destination. One hours, nine minutes, ten seconds. Uh, nine minutes, probably not right. with the Cessna, no, because... No, not with the Cessna, because it, it, the, the, the GPS is that the waypoints are being displayed on the cockpit and not and TFM Let's won't see if I won't get them. If I alt tab off of the sim it might Ruby Stream Chat Low One F S U I P C set flight number nineteen dash of Ida dot com. Flight number nineteen dash of Ida. See it made a little bit of a skip when I went over to the browser I'm just looking to see. One hundred forty one point five NM distance seventy nine ninety eight FT altitude two hundred twenty five degrees. So it's telling me heading from Kennedy Road Telling two hundred twenty five I heard Josh is getting a new computer. Yeah. Is it one of those things you'll get someday? Or is it literally being built and shipped? Uh, both of ours were built, actually. Um, I could have done head mine, but I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get it from the person until I can give them the money because I don't want something to happen. Altitude. Um, Seventy nine ninety eight FT. Almost 8,000 feet. I'm looking at my status on the Avia type page. Distance 140 nm. 140 nm. I guess that's what's left. Estimated time left. Oh no, it ain't. Estimated time. One hour seven minutes. One hour and seven minutes. Estimated time left. 139.7 nm. Yeah, so it gives you your updated distance. 139. Distance estimated time left. Estimated One hour seven time. minutes. Clickable link KJFK. Link viewer. So. But you notice it, it did a little bit of a stutter when I alt tab over to the browser. And it do it again when I go back. Microsoft Flight Simulator Dash 1.30.1. Microsoft. Well, no, well, it made me a liar. Yeah, Ryan I think Bishop. The sim, Happy Saturday, I brother. Think the, the, yeah, I think the sim, like when you alt tab away from the window, it'll like free up some GPU. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like free up some GPU resources. Yes. Um. Let me, uh, just talk to these guys for just a minute. I need to go check the keys in. And I'll be right back, guys. I need to take my keys in the house here. Uh -huh. Brickyard 3705 Rook Talon. Cool. Well, I was actually accepted am, uh, for a job this week. I start in the summer. I hope uh, to be able to get me a new computer, get, uh, too. See. I want to fly. Yep. This uh, plane will land. The last time I tried, tried to flood this flight, uh, you know, I don't know, I tried to flare and it would not touch down. Like it just. So. Trying, to, trying a new. Talon. So is this FS 2020? Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I am not currently on uh, Johnny's stream right now, so we are focused, focused on my own, so we'll see. See where Johnny is in a minute, hopefully if I can, this thing will land, I really hope it does. Next waypoint, colon, steep, distance, colon, 13 nautical miles, bearing, colon, 235 degrees, 6 minutes, 25 seconds. Com one colon one hundred thirty two point five two Global International one nine or eight thousand feet. Freedom Global International one nine or Washington Center Altimeter two nine or decimal minor two continue as planned. Washington Center American two nine or seven nine or is passing one zero thousand feet climbing flight level two two zero. JetBlue one seven nine or eight contact Washington. On one two four decimal seven seven five. Good day. American two nine or seven nine or Washington Center altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two continue to Y U Y U N as planned. American two nine or seven nine or contact New York Center on one two four decimal six two five. Good day. Microsoft Flight Folder View List 3 Microsoft Flight Simulator that Microsoft Flight There hopefully it's on the damn right window now. Huh, oh, you get in the chat. Yeah, I was picking up the chat instead of the sim window. I forgot my coffee guys. I thought that's what you went in there to get. 
I waited to get my phone because my, my phone was on the charger in there. Yeah. And I, I'll get my coffee too, but I'll put my coffee on the table. Yeah, but it's it's in like final the final stages of production right now. Waypoint colon savvy distance colon 13 nautical miles bearing colon 235 degrees 6 minutes 18 seconds. Well, that the Cessna didn't have that problem. It was the diamonds that had diamond DA40 and 16 on that stuff that had yeah, had that problem. Yeah, you'd run out of fuel because it, it wouldn't uh, use the fuel from the other tank. I don't think. Switch the tank, but yeah. like, yeah. Washington Center 
Delta Tree, 60 flight level 350. Delta Tree, 60 Washington Center, continue to Alpha Lima Bravo as planned. Besides, I mean, whatever you're going. Delta Tree, 60 contact New York Center on 124 decimal 625. Good day. See ya. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I hate that my good charger... The charger's still good, but the cord... You can't plug it right part of the older-style iPhone cord into the newer-style charger. Brickyard 5651, contact Washington Center on 125 decimal for five. Good day. USB-C. Man, freaking London City has a really, really steep ass um, glide slope. It's got, instead of a negative three degrees, it's like a negative five. It's Holy you're you're, <clears throat> you're like neg over negative eight hundred something on that on that glide slope. It's that steep. Oh, when you're when you're on your on your final descent approach, yeah. Your final approach, yep. yeah. Wow. That's, uh, holy cow. I don't know why ATC wants me to go to General Aviation Parking Line in colon, an Airbus, 271 but okay, knots, whatever. Zero knots. Is that where you got to fly to? Yeah, I just landed at London City and it was, oh, it was a, kind of a hard landing, but... still going through this whole warranty thing with my honeycomb bravo it's it is ridiculous dude like uh i've not had it that long and you get like a two-year warranty or something like that and um i emailed them and i said that the throttles are the tension no Next waypoint colon KIRKK distance colon 21 nautical now. miles bearing colon 235 yeah. degrees 9 minutes 56 seconds. Back and he's hmm. like, oh, he says, well, just turn the knob on the right side to add tension. And I said, I'm going to need you to go back and read the email, please, because this has nothing to do with the knob. Because when I turn it to the right, United tight, it doesn't change on the tension at all Good day. on the throttles. So, something's broken there or something, because... I mean, there's one zero tension. Push the throttle up and it fall back hmm. down, it, it won't stay in place. <clears throat> Microsoft Flight Simulator. Flight number 19 dash of Lyotov dot com dash on your own air flight Checker number status. 19 dash of link KJF link tour link 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 KB link KF link KF link KFRG visited with flight number from Kennedy and heading 200 altitude 279 distance 102.5 nm 102 miles ago estimated time left 49 minutes 49 minutes Microsoft flight simulate Microsoft flight simulate folder view list Microsoft flight simulator dash 1.30.12 Microsoft Guys, when you use the outside key, you can hit the end key to take you to the outside. If you hold down your control key, 
hit your down, hold down your down arrow, it takes you to the back of the plane on the outside. Um, you can do the same thing with the throw left arrow, throw right arrow, and control up arrow. Total fuel colon 277.6 pounds, 46.3 gallons, total fuel flow colon 65. 46.3 gallons. Total fuel colon 277.4 pounds, 277.4 pounds. We've got about 40 minutes left. Please wait. Brickyard 4781 contact Washington Center on 125 decimal 45. Good day. Guys, I was looking at Microsoft Flight Simulator dash 1.30.12.0. Microsoft Flight Simulator dash 1.30.12. Microsoft. Nearby aircraft row 1 column 2. Nearby aircraft. aircraft dialogue. American 13. Brickyard 40. So Amer Rickyard 4781 semi state colon and right semi distance colon 6 semi altitude colon 17,015 semi speed colon 301 1 of 10 American 1359 semi state colon and route semi distance colon 17 semi altitude colon 13,001 semi speed colon 158 2 of 10 United 1358 semi state colon and route semi distance colon 17 semi altitude colon 30,997 semi speed colon 315 3 of 10 Frontier Flight 1650 semi state colon and route semi distance Rickyard 5650 Southwest 1408 semi United 1070 American 20 Nine up presidential semi state colon private left parent presidential semi state colon and route semi distance colon 33 semi altitude colon 122 semi speed colon 0 9 of 10 private left presidential semi state colon and route semi distance colon 33 semi altitude colon 122 semi speed colon 0 9 of 10 speed 0 9 no that can't American be right. presidential semi state colon and route semi distance colon 33 semi altitude colon 122 semi speed colon 0 9 of 10 speed 0 Uh, that's is that in the air or on the ground? It says American 29 presidential semi state colon and route semi distance colon 33 semi altitude colon 122 semi speed colon 0 9 of 10 private left parent car right parent and 497 LA semi state colon and yeah, route semi distance colon sound, 33 uh, semi altitude colon 126 semi speed colon 0 10 of 10. Wrong. See the last two says residential semi state zero. colon and route brickyard 4781 semi state colon. Okay button. Tap control list. Ground tab selected. Oh, that's ground. Airborne tab select. List. Rickyard 4781 semi. State colon. End route semi. Distance colon. 6 semi. Altitude colon. 17,015 semi. Oh, good. Now I'm on. Private left parent. Car right parent. N497 LA semi. State colon. End route semi. Distance colon. 33 semi. Altitude colon. 126 semi. Speed colon. 0, 10 of 10. Yeah, there's two that are supposed to be in the air. It says they're going zero. <laughs> zero. Talking flight monitor. Well. Talking flight monitor. Microsoft Flight Simulator dash one. Microsoft Flight. We know that ain't right. Flight number 19 dash aviatof.com dash run your own. Flight number 19. Okay, let's go to this. Folder view. Um, back flight Microsoft. number 19 dash Microsoft Flight Simulator dash 1.30. Microsoft. Uh, that's the first time I've heard that name, Brickyard. Got to think that's Josh. I think he changed his name. Oh, no, I've heard it. He changed his name to Mr. Joshua Brickyard. Yeah, I've heard Brickyard a lot. <laughs> I think, no, Brickyard, I, don't, I think Brickyard is one of the charter, uh, the call sign for, like, one of Delta's, Del the Delta or Southwest Charter Division, I think. Oh, uh, okay, one of those. gotcha. So what you guys don't know is I'm actually taking all these bandages to Brandon Armstrong, because, you know, he's a walking accident. So we, we got enough bandages here, we can just wrap him up like a big bubble. Because he went did, did the polar dive. I wonder how that worked out for him. 
you know, and, and the way that, that some of these places do the roller dive, they, they do it by you just step in the water. You don't even got to go under. The, they're like, oh, just stand in the water up to your knees and then come back out. That's not a polar dive, yeah. people. But cheat, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So I've, I've finally done it after all this time of having this phone. I've never broke it. And I can feel a crack on the back of it. A little bitty crack. But actually, Josh made me do it. He made me drop my phone earlier, and uh, my simulator dash. I hold him fully responsible. No. <laughs> Well, that flight took me six hours. I landed at 7:54, or no, I actually, actually 12 12:54 in freaking London. What are you flying? London. I flew the uh, the A320 in 2020. Oh, did it? Is AI? Did it? Oh, you used AI? So you, you mm -hmm. didn't use uh, Tramp? I mean, I, 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 no, I mean, I, I figured out how to, how to use the, um, the regular autopilot with, uh, with the, with the 320, but, you know, all you, cause I, like, it's already set up for you if you do it on the world map, all you have to do is, uh, if you have the assist on, you just take off and it'll put it in climb power. You put the gear up, it flaps up, put turn autopilot on, and it pretty much climbs to your cruise if you put it, if you put it in the MCP. So you can use that with TFM, and it's pretty much smooth sailing from there. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't because of the shadow. I didn't want it to shut off and stuff. So, so what I do you do? You just uh, you hit X to turn on the autopilot once you get up in the air. Z, yep, yeah, and it and it automatically has it. it it's L nav and V nav are automatically turned on. I mean, even though it doesn't really doesn't do L nav and V nav properly the way that it should, like it'll, it won't. How how did it know, land? How did AI do like that properly? Is it actually slowing down now? Oh, uh, this. It it did, but it didn't matter because this appre this this approach was so steep that. Uh, it did a hard landing anyway. <laughs> it didn't matter. I got you. Have you flown the Dreamliner? I don't know. I don't. Ha I don't have it because I don't have the premium deluxe. I think when I get the new computer, I'm gonna buy the. Next yeah, waypoint: colon sure. Visa. Distance: colon sure. five nautical miles. Uh, Bearing: colon two hundred thirty-four degrees two minutes feel thirty-one a lot seconds. Better about yourself. You should do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, we got. Uh, about 25 minutes to go. Hold on one second. Ryan Bishop. There is nothing worse in the world than a dying smoke detector. Hey Ryan, you can see the screen, correct? Are, are you able to see inside the cockpit, buddy? I need to. I need some eyeball feedback. I think you got a little bit of vision. You probably. You probably. You probably, you probably got to configure it for 2020 because you, you probably got to. Uh, I should, well, I just added. Yes, a, I, mean, I, I just, see what I just added a new display for it, uh, so it should be showing. Oh, because uh, uh, Crystal could see the chat window. I was just on the wrong window. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. 
if you have a game capture though, and it captures 2020, it will, like if you alt tab to the chat window, it'll still capture the game, and you can just alt tab anywhere and you don't have to worry about, Do you have to add the game capture every uh, time you stream, or does it keep it? No, it keeps it, you just have to add it as a source. And make sure that it, the Windows 10, it's a Windows 10, 20, uh, there's like a Windows 10 method for yeah, game capture, yeah, yeah. you have to select that, and then, uh... Well, if this works, work. right, can you see but it, that, Ryan? But that, but that, that doesn't, doesn't work in P3D, though. Yeah, yeah, no, Anti left Baron, desktop right Baron, logged onto the server, Anti left Baron, desktop right Baron, join channel root. Anti left flight number 19, restream chat, FSU IPC, avoid the pilot message, micro uh, flight number, restream chat, row one, oh, call, restream chat. Clickable type of message, add clickable menu button, sub menu. Type of me Microsoft, flight number 19, FSU IPC 7, console log row, avoid the client 1 point of the pilot lounge, dash team top 5 messages, dash Josh Tuff, okay. restream chat, row one, call. Hey Josh, how are you Folder view list. Hey buddy, how you doing? Restream chat, row, Microsoft flight simulator, dash 1.30, oh, point. Yeah. Microsoft flight simulator. Okay, I'm pretty late over here, but. We yeah, just I'm got doing with our BBI event. So. Doing an AVA type flight right now. I was going to ask you, Declan, like, I've got my AIRAC data up to date, but I did the flight into... I think I was going to Charlotte. Oh, tell me about Charlotte. We just did that. We had all kinds of problems huh. in the, uh, the ILS. We were bang on it, but it would not capture. I'll tell you. Yeah, like, oh wow. Like, like I was there, but, um, I don't know, I just had a lot of trouble there, so maybe it's that airport. Yeah, we had to do all now. Um, well, it was ILS, but we landed it manually. No, uh, no water land. So, yeah, It yeah. was okay. It worked out. But. I did a flight last night, because it was on P3D last night, I did a flight to, uh, I wonder if there's something wrong, something with the, uh, like, Siri at Charlotte, like, a, like uh, I don't know, I've had trouble there with the ILS frequencies or something. Like, more than once. But I did a flight into Panama last night, and, I, man, I was super impressed, like, uh, my landing rating was, like, negative 82, and I was like, holy shit, that's, that's pretty fucking, that's a pretty good landing huh. rating. I wouldn't Best expect that at, uh, at Panama. Panama. <laughs> Out of all places, yeah. I was, I was pretty impressed. But, uh, I don't know what it is about Charlotte. Every time I go there, there's always something that, that seems to go wrong at that airport. Yeah, I don't know. It was a straight in approach. There was no funny turns, but, uh, so you couldn't get the ILS. Yeah, I couldn't get the ILS before either. I was dead on. Yeah. I was on course and everything. So I mean, did, did all did all of you have the issues, like robbing everybody, or is it, was it just you? No, everybody. Uh -huh. I wonder if they got their. I wonder if in the scenery, maybe they've got the ILS, the courses off, the courses wrong. Yeah, I might have to try some out on scenery. See if it works better. Did it not even attempt? Like, did you even get the message where it was trying to, you know, like? Oh yeah, we got the messages, we were dead on, but it just never uh, turned off heading or glide or, uh, you know. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. So mm -hmm. where, where all did you all fly? I know you tell me earlier, but you guys were busy, I didn't want to bother you. Uh, where did you start from and where did you go? Boston to Indianapolis, and then, um... Indianapolis did a great job. They were fully staffed. Stephen was on tower. Um, they had ground to delivery center approach. Um, and then we went to to Charlotte, where it all went. Did they know? Did they know you guys were coming for the event, or was, did, was it just like that they were just staffed for that? Like that they would, did they coincide with the uh, the PBI event coincide with an event that was having to be fully staffed? Charlotte is upset because everybody keeps calling it Shortcut Charlotte. So they're like, you know what? We're going to show you Shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Real World Atis on the on the website said uh, the ILS was uh, out of service in the real world. So we said, well, maybe the simulators. Uh, uh, maybe. 
maybe because I know maybe like, the Sims reflected it. Well, like Miami before in real life they had a runway that, that was down, and ATC actually went in and shut that runway down. Like, you know, on the, in, uh, huh. on the scene. Uh, maybe they did something with the air act. I don't know. Maybe. So they very well could have turned it off. Is that even possible, though? Like, yeah, in the air act, probably. Um, no, it was um, a BBI, I think. We, uh, Stephen, uh, Steve Welsh, I think his name is, uh, yeah. put me in touch with the coordinator. Of uh, the region, and uh, I you know, asked him to staff up. Uh, I just thought we might get an approach or something, but so they all came on, and then everyone else came. All these other pilots came because they saw it was all. Yeah. AP altitude yeah. colon 1800 feet. Maintain present yeah. heading and altitude. Wow, Expect vectors. Visual <laughs> runway 20 approach. Visual Freedom place. Global International. One I've been niner. through Indianapolis before, like when I first started Simi. Um, I've been on that sim like four or five times before that, and then here I go to Indianapolis, and they're completely loaded down, and I'm there by myself, still kind of getting the hang of that sim. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> it's not gonna be good. But yeah, uh, real good people though, man. I mean, they got me off the ground. They got me. I didn't have a lot of experience. Oh yeah, we did good. I, gonna leave I felt the sorry guy. for him. The guy was like, no, he's like, you know. We don't want you to leave. Stick around. We'll, he's like, we'll get you off the ground. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, they're, they're real good people. We just kept keying up, you know, one go and then the next one would come on. I said, oh, vision, you know, we need to reposition. <laughs> I thought, man, it's, it's, all one in a reposition is like, you know, so many, many visions. But uh, no, they did. I mean, some airports will make you wait forever, but these guys, they got you straight out. No Let problem. me tell you what. Phoenix. A month ago. I said, remember what, well, kind of like me and you when we was in Miami, that one, and we had to sit there and wait, wait, and wait. Washington Center, West Ham, 251. Yeah, I, I wasn't the controller then, but yeah. But I sit there in Phoenix West for almost 35 minutes. Yeah. Continue to work on this plan. Next waypoint colon at the distance colon four miles. I didn't know where there was. Which I'm at at the moment. Yes. Uh, actually, I don't know where I'm at. Well, you're on the <laughs> <one> way. <laughs> Let's hope he can find his better his way around uh, in the real world better than he can on the uh, simulator. Yeah, I would hope so. Where them? Uh... No. You we'll get to them, find out soon. That's why. You get them uh, glasses that tell you where you're, you know, kind of guys. Freedom Mobile like, International, one niner contact, Washington Center, on one tree, two decimal five five. Oh. Good day. On the runway. Oh, the freaking envision glasses. One tree, two decimal five five. Freedom Global International, one niner. Com one colon one hundred thirty two point five five. I forget what they're called, but like freaking glasses. They had like GPS or something, I don't know. Like, they could look at like, it'd tell you like, if there was a door in front of you, I don't know what they were called, but... That guy wasted all kinds of money on crazy, crazy stuff, I mean... I mean, there's an app, there's an Envision app that can do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean I've looked at the glasses and they look cool, but... Have you seen the expensive. cane? It's like 800 bucks for this cane. It's got GPS on it. Mm. Yeah, I got one that's <laughs> cheaper than that. I got one for like four hundred. No, that's uh, okay. I, that that I can see. It, it did okay. You know. 
what, what's it's kind of useful. Was it accurate, Declan, as far as, like... So it had a scanner on it for overhead obstacles, like tree branches, which was nice, although it was very sensitive, and it would go off all the time if you were in a big city. Oh, so, it, so as you're Next waypoint, colon, slot, distance, colon, nine like, nautical miles, bearing, colon, 222 degrees, four minutes, and 23 vibrate, seconds. And the intensity would change if you were, like... You know, if you were approaching like a door or a tree or a branch or something that you wouldn't traditionally pick up with a cane, yeah. Now, could you link yours? I think on the one I seen, you could link it to heads to like ear, earbuds or whatever. Like you could. Yeah, you could. You could. It was just like Google Maps or, or something. It wasn't. I need to do a, a firmware update to try it again. But it wasn't very much uh, customized for the blind, it was just very generic. GPS stuff. I remember uh, Detroit. Uh, they going to one tree, two decimal zero. Ryan Bishop. When I worked for a certain visual company, I was given a pair to test our app on them. I was not impressed with the glasses at all. Totally not worth the money. I never really understood that though, because like they're no they're no longer doing it either. By the way, that. That kind of broke when they had to obviously get rid of that. But um, if you're like, you got a dog, you, and you should know kind of where, understand GPS gets you where you're going, but on a harness, I don't know. I I could have went up there and did that, and I was like, nah, I'll just go to this other place. But they lost a lot of There's money. There's the new project... Um is it way maps or good maps or something like something maps? Way map, way maps. Like good really, maps. It might be good maps. It's really accurate, but it relies on basically fitting like a city or a public transport network with, you know, or, or like imaging it. Basically, they can image somewhere, and then it's great for like indoor navigation because it'll literally tell you, you know, uh, take two steps, you know, turn left, up the steps, wow. you know, and then. It, it's really accurate, but they have to like do an image scan of the whole place. Is yeah, that like an app for, your, for iOS or something? Or... Yeah, there's like areas where it works. I think it might have been Waymap or Good Map. Sorry, I can't remember. I remember. I'll never forget because I I when I uh, I was trying to use the iPhone GPS, you know, the the Apple GPS. That thing sucks, man. Like. I was coming from this uh, town way up north in Indiana. We was trying to get back to Scottsburg, and I told her to take me back, you know, take take me back home. This thing guides us way out, in, like BFE. Yeah. And we get to a stop sign. It says you've arrived at your destination. And I'm still like, I'm like hey, we're like three hours away from home, and, and <laughs> my girlfriend's like, um, I don't think the GPS is working, sweetie. Like, yeah, that's shit. Let me get Google Maps because it's pretty accurate. Google Maps does pretty good, but yeah, don't use iPhone. Don't use the. I don't know who they go through, or what, what, what they use, but oh, it used to be really bad. It's yeah. horrible, man. It's freaking mm -hmm. horrible. Like we're nowhere near home in the middle of nowhere, and it's telling me that you've arrived at your destination. <laughs> no, I haven't either. What the hell? Oh gosh. Ryan Bishop. I really liked Microsoft Soundscape. 8,000 feet ASL. Mike, what is it, Ryan? Microsoft Soundscape? What about it? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going away. Yeah, it's going bye bye. Soon. Bye bye. So let me tell you guys, I, I, got, I got this, uh, I told Josh about this. This, this is crazy. This, this is absolutely insane. So my buddy, as you guys know, he's a pilot. He flies and he can bring you training and stuff for people. Delta 1680, so he's in Washington one of his Next waypoint, colon, payload, distance, colon, 10 nautical miles, bearing, colon, 217 degrees, 5 you know, minutes, like, 3 seconds. So then he goes into the hangar and he's, he's getting this... Says that he's got out there and moves it out of his hand. I don't know, five, ten minutes, something like that. He gets out and he looks up and he sees like this 
dot because it was so high up. I was like, what the hell is that? And then, you know, he waited a little bit longer and he got clear that United there's this guy and he's got the parachute out, but the guy's like half upside down in the parachute. And so George, like, was tracing the guy because I mean, he was coming right down with the helicopter was. So George Ryan says the guy's coming down to, because obviously if that guy would have landed, he'd have been dead. If George wouldn't have been there, he would have been dead. Like he jumps and like, kind of like grabs the guy and like runs. Because when you land on, you know, when you land in the parachute, you're, you're like, you're running in midair right before you touch down. So that's what George was simulating. And, and the guy hurt his leg or whatever, but it didn't, you know, didn't kill him. George didn't get hurt, really. But, um, the, the guy said, yeah, the, he said the pilot would be here in a minute. And so the pilot lands on his runway out there, almost hits his jet. That would have been real bad. I, I wish I could have been there to see it, but almost hit his jet, like 10 feet from it. And, um, the reason the guy was upside down almost but because this so-called pilot didn't really teach this guy how to jump out of an airplane with a parachute and told him to take five to ten steps back from the, you know, the door that's opened up and run and jump. Worst mistake in the world, dude. That's, he did it. Like, this dude did it. He ran and jumped out and it got him twisted up in his damn uh, parachute from my understanding but uh George told the guy he's like I'm turning you in because number one why are you skydiving like why are you here skydiving over over people's property so I, I'd probably bet that that guy don't have a license no more or he got in a lot of trouble one or the other not the guy that jumped but the guy that took him up to jump because why would you from what wow pretty wild from what he told me when you skydive you either put your back to the door and you just kind of fall out or you do it the other way you got your face towards the door and you just kind of lean forward drop out you don't run you don't jump you just kind of fall out and uh yeah dude but yeah dude hurt his leg but, you know, like George said, if it had been five minutes sooner, parachute or not, that dude would have been dead. Because even when you land with the parachute, I'm sure you still got quite a bit of momentum, you know, to hit the ground. Feet, ILS runway, two I, I mean, I've never done it, but... Yeah, you'd think they'd actually plan a parachute jump to make sure that it was going to land somewhere... Well, yeah. at least in the vicinity of somewhere like particular, so not just like over a property. Because you don't know where you're going to land. I mean, you could land on anything. You could land on a building or something. That's what George said, and the guy told him, well, I thought this was... He said, well, this is the wrong area. And George like, you, you think? You think it is? Yeah, you just land on someone's house. I mean, then you're definitely dead. Before we're going to damage stuff. So he, he was thinking that maybe the guy really didn't know what he was doing, and he was just doing it to make a little extra money because that guy was paying him to take him skydiving like 300 bucks well I wouldn't have, well he didn't pay after that Sarah, I bet. Wait, two, six, eight, seven, contact, Potomac approach on one, two, eight, eight, on the way but Good day. before he did it but I know like you go somewhere to skydive like you like you know me or you or Josh want to go skydive we could we could go and do a Going to you know, one, back, two, eight, you jump seven, with somebody. Wait, two, six, eight, like, there's a whole procedure to it. The kill just take someone out and just, all right, man, just kind of run and jump. You'll yeah. be good. Just off you go. Yeah, hope for the best. He said that guy was a, was a wreck. Next waypoint, colon, pala, distance, colon, 11 nautical miles, bearing, colon, 227 death. degrees, yeah. 5 minutes, 13 seconds. I, I bet he fucking was. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I'd get him his license yeah. taken away. Because he still was using the plane, like, I don't know. I'll have to check up with him and see what happens with that, because 
you would think he, he could possibly lose his license because you're using your license to uh, make, well, if you don't have a license to do skydiving training. Or Definitely shouldn't be skydiving. Because I know there's a the whole thing about you can't just use your plane to make a profit. I mean, you can't, but you're in the process. So, I would say he's got some penalties behind that. Surely he got yeah. aviation. Because you're a straight turn. Yeah, he's like, I'm turning you in. <laughs> I guess the guy was that, like, literally begging him not to do that. Don't do that, man. It was a mistake, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not a mistake. It's stupidity. <laughs> that's just stupidity. There is no mistake there. Well, I mean, he could have. <laughs> If the guy was dead, then, uh, he'd be involved in a lot more than losing an airplane license. Well, and George said the same thing that you did. How do you let someone jump out of a, out of a, a landscape you don't know? What if you land on a house? What if you land on, miles at 1, on, you know, on a road or, you know, I don't know, anywhere? It's crazy, man. Blue streak five, two, eight, nine, like, yeah. if you land in a motor, you got a parachute tank in the up. Well, head first, that would have killed him too. That, that would have killed him. Because they say hit the water and like hit the concrete. It's just like concrete. Yeah. yeah. Good day. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. Freedom Global International, one niner traffic in sight. Wow. Yeah, I was hoping to do that event. I seen you, you had messaged me about it. Like, I don't know how to do that. Unfortunately, college. Oh, I know. Damn Saturdays. Every day yeah. on Saturday. We'll do some on Sunday. Or they got a something. class that we're doing right now, and I, I don't know. I'm kind Matt of one that localizer, localizer is alive. Runway heading two. It's the whole gender, trans. It's a transgender class about transgenders and talks about their rights and all this. And I get it because maybe I'll get someone in the future when I'm counseling that is a transgender, and I need to know. Students in my class, they, they didn't let, they Descend didn't like and maintain 2,200 feet freedom. Global they international. Like, oh, really? Minor. Yeah, they're like, we don't need to huh. learn this. And I mean, no. you kind of do as a psychologist. You, you need to learn it because what if you get a, a client that's a transgender and they're suicidal or depressed because of it? You gotta know how to handle, like, you know, you know, I mean, I, you don't gotta agree with it, you just gotta know how to treat them. Yeah, exactly, whether you agree with the whole kind of biological concept of changing yeah, exactly. gender, like, it's, it's something you might have to deal with in your line of work, so. The guy, the one guy in my class was such an idiot, he was trying to compare it to uh, bestiality, and my instructor's like, that is not nothing alike nothing alike 7,000 feet and uh, he's like sure it is he's like it's, it's a person that, that gets into uh, animals instead of humans what's the difference there's a huge argument in class about it I just sit there and just listen like I'm staying out of this one <sighs> yeah uh, that, that kid put his foot in it or whatever yeah stuck yeah. his foot right in his mouth my instructor's like, so do you plan on counseling somebody that's got a bestiality problem? He's like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, probably not. Probably fucking probably yeah. not. <laughs> I think they go to someone a bit uh, a bit more specialized yeah. than a counselor. They're, I mean. they're probably going to look up some, some kind of counselor or yeah. specialist for bestiality. <laughs> You'll just go to the local local counselor now I'm going to go talk about my bestiality problem. Six thousand feet. Well, I'm not prepared for this. Distance colon thirty one nautical miles. Fifteen minutes, thirty four seconds. Flight slope is alive. Nav one at flight slope. Oh, well, God. don't know what to do about that one. Yeah. Crazy stuff. And then my son, he's he, he was going to go to college, and now he's like, oh, I'm not going to go to college. I said, how come? He's like, because. They're, they're putting that stuff in your guys' heads. I said, I said, are you going to college and be a counselor? No. I said, okay, then you probably wouldn't have the class. So. 
Yeah, they. I mean, if you go, if you do some kind of more practical subject, like a science or yeah. a maths or like you to do, uh, engineering. What's that called? When you go out and you do bones, like dinosaur bones and stuff. There's a there's a word I can't think. Oh, pay, like five thousand like, feet. Um, the paleontology. Archaeology or something. Yeah, there's a certain. Like, there's a word, but you know what I'm talking about. That's what he wants to do, and I'm like. So do you think that you're going to need to learn about transgenders while you're digging up a fossil? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> not going to happen, buddy. I don't know. I, I just think that, like, as the world changes, we, we don't have to agree with everything, but we have to understand it. And, and it doesn't mean we got to accept it, but we gotta we got to at least try to understand it and be... You know, have have some some morals with it. You know. Yeah. And it's ultimately something that, you know, me and you are never going to experience that within ourselves, probably. Exactly. So. Yeah. Ultimately, whether I agree with it or not, it's like I don't want to pass too much what judgment on it because I don't have any personal experience of, you know. I mean, it's like. A, what it could be like. Not even eight percent chance, and I'll even get somebody with that kind of uh, looking for that type of counseling mm. because, because of that. So it's not like, yeah, you know, like you said, it's something we're probably never going to have to deal with. You know. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I draw the line under is, is children. I think it, yes. I, I, you know, when 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 parents start sort of, yeah, I agree there. pushing their, their kids and saying, you know, you can you can change there you know, was a video this or that dude speaking of that where this kid was only like nine and he yeah was growing up to be a she and the mother and the father created a youtube channel for it and everybody was all over 3,000 feet it's like you know you're not doing this to support your child you're doing this for the for, for the you know the uh, the money. Yeah. Doing this for the fame. So all the progressives can say, "Oh, how great!" You know. Yeah. Well done. Mother's on there. No, like, the, the, the yeah. Line. It's like it's clear what you're doing. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. That's, you, don't put kids in it. Don't don't. Because it can be life altering. Yeah. If you. Yeah. If my kid was seven or eight and asked even what it was I would say it's something that you never need to worry about don't don't even don't even think about it you know, I, mean, I don't know what I'd say but I would do something to get their mind going the other direction you know it's one of them things where you just be like you know, look you know it's okay that you, you feel this way but it's, it's something that you need to kind of Wait until you're older to understand it. Really see if this is the path you want to take. Yeah. Because it's not something you can just do and then take back if you think you've made the wrong decision. Exactly. Because uh -huh. once you do it, your reputation, your, I mean, everything. So apparently, Declan, uh, Josh was telling me. FS tramp. You know how when you would try to use FS tramp with, let's say, with the Airbus or one of the, eight, you know, 2020 planes, it would give you all the messages constantly. Pedo he. Oh yeah. And on Pedo. And off. Um, yeah. Apparently that's fixed now, and you can fly those planes without the. Spirit Wing Street A30, you are 25 miles southwest. Well, uh, well, Jason said, but about a week ago, that he in the that he put a, like a mute function in to mute automatic messages in TFM into the next preview. It's going to be the next preview. Minus seven feet per minute. So you turn that on. Okay. Yeah. Prince George's Maryland, the United States. Eastern Standard Time. If I could install one two four well, decimal seven yeah, freedom global international one niner. Uh, 
Com 1 colon 124.70. Well, yeah, because if you're using, using the latest uh, sim, you know, the sim update, he, he fixed some things with the scenic reassembler for 2020 to uh, get update the new for the new scenery. I guess there's like new scenery files that these latest couple of latest, past latest updates. And you had to do stuff with the scenery or something like Freedom Global International says, One Niner have the Cessna Skyhawk in sight. I'm getting tea here, Bradley. How can I fly with Eurofly on vets? You can't. I'm not even going to finish reading it. You can't. <laughs> Somebody want to explain that? Like, why? You can't. Uh, because it's not a mainstream sim. It's I mean, it's not, you're not in a, it's not a sim. So, you got to be in a sim in yeah. order to connect to that sim. I guess it's the best way. I'm not saying you're asking a dumb yeah. question or not, Bradley. I'm just saying you can't do that. It's not possible, buddy. But you're welcome to... Peyton Herrick, what plane are you flying? You're welcome to, uh... You know, get P3D or uh, get P3D four or five, and you know, fly freeware. Then we can help you get on that sim at some point. But you would need to. I always tell people get some experience, wait a little bit before you just jump right into that sim. Because I mean, there is there yeah. is a skill behind it. You know, you need to understand it. Uh, hey, I'm fly, I'm flying a Cessna 172. I've heard it pronounced. I heard. I've heard it pronounced a a via type. A via type. Yeah, I guess it would be really because it's, it's A V I A, not E A. So I guess it would be a via type. How's college going uh, on your end of things uh, there, Declan? Uh, I was real busy. It's calmed out a bit now. We had some. Uh, Events to organize. Light slope uh, is alive. Nav one at localizer. Localizer is alive. Runway heading twenty one. Nav one at light slope. Light slope is alive. Nav one at localizer. Localizer is alive. Runway heading twenty one. Nav one at light slope. But um, yeah. all that along with the the work, the degree is uh, a lot. But uh, no, it's good. It's good. I know my online instructor. They want us. Uh, all of us have to. Apparently, doesn't matter where. Have to do it. We've got to do 20 hours of shadowing, and I'm just like, how how do you fit in 20 hours when you're like all of us said it? Like, how how are we going to do that? You know, fit in 20 hours of that when we do other stuff through the week. Makes it kind of hard, but figure something out, I guess. Yeah. Unless I could use my internship that I've done before, then there's so I got plenty of hours in that. But and this is the third time that we've had to do portfolios. Like I've got a portfolio from uh, the first college I went to. We did a portfolio last semester, and now this instructor went to portfolio so I'm just going to grab the one I already did I mean it's the same daggone thing yeah I tell you what that uh, chat GPT is very good for getting some ideas planning things um, What's it? it's giving me a lot of good ideas it is, yeah. essays is it chat, and uh, golf Papa Tango GPT Chat GPT, yeah. Like you can ask it, you know, give me some examples of, uh, I don't know, 
you know, whatever you're writing about. Give me some examples of flight simulation developers, and what they've done, um, or anything really. And it's it it can't write an essay for you, but it can um, it can give you some great tips. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that one that we were messing with that one day, wasn't it? Light slope is alive. Yeah, Nav one as localizer. Localizer is alive. Runway heading twenty one. Nav one as glide slope. People have gotten into write entire blog posts. Two thousand like, feet. If you if you you can like you tell it what you're writing about and you tell you can to make an outline. And then you can say, oh, hey, write an introduction. You can basically like write, write it one at a time. 2006 BASS, 282 feet per minute. Yeah. Andy should start using Anyway, I have to spend so much time writing slow. <laughs> 107 knots, 430 feet per minute. 2068 BASL, 107 knots indicated. It'll probably get a few things mixed up, to be fair, but... Hmm. 246 feet per minute. It'd probably help him spruce up. Light slope is alive. Nav one as localizer. Localizer is alive. Runway heading 21. Yeah. Nav one yeah, as it's good for that too. You just paste in something and say, rewrite this in a, in a more academic way or something. It'll do it. Yeah. Well, we should be getting ready to land. Turn right heading 225. Yep. Freedom Global International, one niner. Getting two two five. Com one colon one hundred. Heading colon two hundred twenty five. International, one niner, one zero miles north, inbound visual runway. Heading colon two hundred twenty five. Minus forty nine feet per minute. Minus fifty nine feet per minute. Twenty one seventy one feet ASL. Minus fifty six feet per minute. Final runway two zero. Minus fifty nine feet per minute. Flaps five. Flaps thirteen. Minus one hundred fifty one feet per minute. Minus 106, 2144 feet, minus 148 feet per minute. Minus 240 feet per minute. 2068, 87 knots indicated. Two thousand feet. Eighteen fifty-three. All right, Brandon Armstrong. I'm landing here in a minute. We'll have your bandages for you. Got a plane full of bandages up here. We'll wrap Brandon up in the bandages. It'll be like a bubble. Seventeen eighty-six minus two hundred seventy eighty-nine knots indicated. Organized Polar Bear Express. Whatever the thing was he did today went. Seventeen thirty-nine. Yeah. Sixteen forty nine feet ASL. Yeah, but people do that, man, I would. No way. Minus two hundred seventy nine feet per minute. It's below forty degrees, I don't want no part of it. Well well, water, I don't want it to be below seventy degrees. <laughs> forty or fifth degree water wouldn't be very comfortable. Fifteen twenty minus two hundred seventy two. 89 knots indicated. 15, 15 feet ASL. We're at 1500 feet, y'all. 89 knots indicated. 89 knots. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. Did you 
see that new sound pack uh, deck loon that uh, they came out with for the Cessna. Sounds uh, for the 172, no. Yeah, it sounds really good. Josh sent it to me. Or sent me the link on my phone. Oh, look. Uh, Is it FT Sim? Who made that, Josh? No, it's uh, Boris. Boris Sim. Boris Sounds or something like that. It's a new. He's a new sound guy for 2020. It's Boris Johnson. He's got sounds for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got sounds for the fly by wire, the the Cessna 172, the uh, I don't know what other sounds he's got. Oh, okay. No, interesting. It's in market, huh? Hmm. Twelve twenty seven, minus one hundred five feet per minute. Eighty seven knots indicated. And we're slowly making our way down. Twelve nineteen feet ASL. Eleven sixty five feet ACL. 12, 19 feet ASL. 0 feet per minute. 0 feet per minute. Minus 10 feet per minute. Minus 13 feet per minute. Minus 7 feet per minute. Minus 3 feet per minute. Why you laughing at for 1,000 feet? Minus 3 feet per minute. 12, 18 feet ASL. 10, 98 feet ACL. 11, 22 feet ACL. 12, 16 feet. 89 knots indicate. Minus 7 feet per minute. Seven feet AS minus seven feet per minute. When I was taking off earlier today, I have the thing on all players. So I, I guess United I States. heard a freaking either a, chat uh, one, column two. Flight number nineteen a jet star or like Flight a freaking hornet taking off. From nineteen dash estimated time one minute. These, these estimated, time 2 .2 huh. yeah, estimated time two point two nm. Estimated time left one minute. Clickable link KJFK. Folder view. Flight number not Microsoft for stream F of the messages. Flight number Microsoft. Microsoft flights. That was me, guys. I was tapping around. That's why I was doing that. Zero feet per minute. Twelve hundred feet ASL. Peer down. Dot. Flaps twenty. 1197 feet, minus 7 feet per minute. Minus 16 feet per minute. Minus 16 feet per minute. Minus 20 feet per minute. Minus 26 feet per minute. Minus 26 feet per minute. Minus 23 feet per minute. 1187 feet. Minus 20 feet per minute. Minus 26 feet per. 1185 feet. Minus 30 feet per minute. Minus 26 feet per minute. 1013 feet. 1180 feet ASL. Minus 13 feet per minute. Now we're at 1000 feet. 90 knots indicated. Charles, Maryland, the United States. So they're flying over Charles, Maryland. Minus 26 feet per minute. Minus 20 feet per minute. Minus 13 feet per minute. 1170 feet a.m. Minus 7 feet per minute. Minus 23 feet per minute. Total fuel colon 226.5 pounds, 37.8 gallons. Total fuel flow colon 59. Minus 59 feet per minute. 1154. Minus 72 feet per minute. Minus 43 feet per minute. 1151 feet. Minus 16 feet per minute. Notice, uh, this was the way 2020 did it back then too, like, it still gets down low a little bit sooner than what it should, I think. Cause I'm like at, yeah, you know, a thousand feet, just cruising along, like, I'm not 
not sure why they bring it down so soon, but... I remember I was flying... I wonder if it's to, uh... Like, appreciate the scenery. I wonder if that's, like, the AI, like, you know... Oh, so it could be, yeah. I know one time I was flying from Miami, doing a test flight Miami up to Indy. And, uh... Literally, <clears throat> going over to Tennessee... And I hear this, doom, doom, shh, doom, shh, because the belly of the plane was scraping the top of a mountain. And it just went back <laughs> up. It lifted back up in yeah. the air and just kept on going. I'm like, this is like the unstoppable airplane right here. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> 11, 50 feet, AM, minus 10 feet per minute. Zero feet per minute. 10 feet per minute. Zero feet per minute. 51 knots indicate. 13 feet per minute. 956. 1151. 43 feet per minute. 956 feet angle. 43 feet per minute. 52 knots indicated. Minus 220 feet per minute. I think base runway yeah, is it's right. nice you can get it to actually. Is base runway like right before final approach? Or does that mean you're on the... Yeah, it's like the uh, turn before final. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, what did you say in Declan about it? It's nice about what? Minus oh, I was saying it's nice you can actually get it to say like... Uh, uh, whatever it say, Vision Global or... 1,000 feet. Oh, yeah, call yeah. Sign. yeah. 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 Because yeah, it's text to speech, isn't it? ATC. But yeah, you can go. Sounds in, good. You can go into the setting and uh, do like Vision Global. You know, like uh, it's under one of the set. I forget where you do it at, but it just sucks that AI and ATC don't play together on live weather. Like you have to, t in order to really. You know, na prevent ADC from nagging you. You got to set it to clear skies or Ryan Bishop. Live because it turn before. I don't know, I guess first live it's leg, then base, the, then final. The winds. I base guess, is last straight before you make final that. left or right turn to, to runway. Better, though, honestly, like I wonder. I think the AI is like designed Ryan, to you, go two nine nine two standard all the time. Guys talking, Ryan, or no? You should be able to hear all of us. Can you guys hear? Yeah, us? we're coming through. Yeah. Okay. Traffic Freedom Global International New objective prepared to land at destination airport. Two, to land. two steps. Two Whiskey Five Traffic Freedom Global International One Niner, two miles north, inbound visual runway two zero. Minus 300, 235 feet ASL. Oh, we're almost landed. Here we go. 
50 knots indicated. 182 feet ASL. 54 knots. And we're on the ground. 36 knots. Flaps 15. New 22 knots. knots indicated. Taxi aircraft to chosen destination. 24 knots. One 18 knots. So I guess it's going to attack. 14 knots. Go to a gate, I guess. 14 knots. Yeah, it should. 13 knots. 12 knots. It hasn't crashed for me yet. I really hope. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't do it anytime soon. Don't say that. Don't you say that? Cause I remember. Cause I remember before New we, uh, the we crashed a lot on taxi. You gotta put the brakes on before you can submit the flight you did with Avia. Yeah, it, you you have to shut the engines off too. Yeah, I should do that. Two whiskey five okay. traffic freedom oh, okay. global international one niner is Here clear of the runway. Clear runway. Park and break Two off. whiskey five traffic freedom global international one niner is clear of the runway. Well, it says we're cleared runway, but Zero knots indicated. We're just sitting here idling. Zero knots indicated. Uh, CFM says we're over the North Atlantic Ocean when we're really Zero not. Zero knots indicated. I brought back it to the automatic flight file and said we're Atlantic uh, Zero uh, ocean, speed. and then I, I did write back at ship C, and it says Zero that we're over city. You sure AI <laughs> shuts it off because we're... Zero knots indicated. Zero knots ground speed. Well, maybe it's still... Zero knots ground no. Zero knots indicated. Yeah, it, when it's clear of the runway, it starts taxiing over to a gate, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, it, yeah, you're right. And then it, it, it like, taxis out, off of the runway, contacts ETC to get, uh, ground. Yeah. You know, clear, uh... 13 knots. And then it... 15 knots. 18 knots. Yeah, nice that they seem to have done some fixing knots. on the AI. It's nice to do these little prompt flights. Nice and uh, relaxed. Twenty knots. Yeah. Let's yeah try it out. Seventeen knots. Yeah. When you yeah when you when you fl sixteen even knots like with the uh, the AC twenty when you do fourteen knots. I just did an AC twenty flight to try to get that super thirteen knots mirror flight done. The Eleven knots. London City one that I had trouble <laughs> trouble oh. with landing was that thirteen knots. Freaking steep ass approach. It was so bad. Fourteen knots. Um. But like. 16 knots. You know, I pretty much thought, I'm like, look, I'd rather have a hard landing than 17 knots. At least the time it landed, I'd rather have a hard landing than 15 knots. do that float over. Uh, but... 14 knots. Um... 12 yeah, knots. Yeah, like, with the... I noticed with the, the weather on clear skies, the AI performs a little better with... Uh, well, ATC is, doesn't nag you constantly see, uh, about being at the wrong altitude. I, I think I, that has something to do with altimeter. But see, I like, I like the weather, though. I like having the, the weather, so... Uh, I mean, me, me too. I do too. But I just, I mean, I, it, I kind of well, got used to it. You know, it, it, it'll nag you, but yeah. I'll, I'll probably set it back, but I think I will, cause I mean, cause I like hearing the sounds. And stuff. Yeah, like um. Fifty nine degrees. It says it's fifty nine degrees here at where the fuck I'm. New objective at two W five. Two W five. Nah, that's just the st that's just the standard. Uh, it doesn't change really. Wine colon two hundred. One clear skies. Yeah, well, I think it. I think it still. I think it gives you the correct temperature. It just doesn't give you any. Fifty nine degrees. Because earlier, New objective earlier yeah. marked the different temperature when I took off in the other airport. Here it says fifty nine. What's in there? Uh, what, what is this airport? Where's it at? Uh, Indian Head, Maryland. It's somewhere in Maryland. Hey Google. It's the Brandon Armstrong What's International. The at Indian Head, Maryland Airport. <laughs> Fifty-nine degrees. Yeah, so it's not. You're right, Josh. It's not. Cause it says it's fifty-nine. New but objective end of life. No, shut up. <laughs> Why does it do that? Like it never. Zero knots indicated. It always tries to reactivate. There, I mm. think that there's some kind of setting that I got to figure out how to turn off. It's, that's because that there's a there's a setting. It's a it's a, it's called follow up, where basically you can be like. 
uh, you know, what's the weather at such and such airport? Zero and then you, and speed. when you can follow up, uh, what's the temperature? New objective. And what's the dupe, like, like, New that's, that's the off. whole point of that set. Like, it New reactivates, you can just keep asking it. Follow-up questions, yeah. that's what it's supposed to be for. It's a nice the, feature, it's just not done very well. What's it always comes on. Here, Josh? Is it New period? objective, end of life. It's numlock, you put the numlock on and then controls, uh, you know, period, yeah, numlock period. Oh. New objective, Arcade end break of life. There we go. Flight oh, number yeah. 19, dash, dot com, okay. dash, run, flight number I know, I have, 19, dash, a, I have such a hard time releasing the parking brake, or getting it to lock, in 7-3. How do you do it, Declan? Oh, yeah. You gotta hold, I, hold it I down. just... I hold num the, the the period down for like five seconds, and then hit the control. Well, control. If if it's if it's if it's lock if it's unlocked, you have to hold, hit control like after five seconds. If it's if you're trying to release the parking brake, you, you just hold down the period. You can just press the hold period and it will unlock. Well, I tell you what, John, there's an even easier way. Um, you can actually get first officer to do it. Just turn the voice on and say. Parking brake on or parking brake off. Parking brake on, yeah. Oh. Dialogue, clickable, notice. Cookie, terms and privacy. Hello, Yeah, and that's another Discord. reason why I want a computer, so I don't have to deal with the shadow flight, microphone link. bullshit. Finish the flight link. I can't wait to get Windy. the Sky vector. Clickable, open street map. Leaflet, link AJ. Zoom out button. Zoom and button. KTE. KDCA link. What do you hit on this, Josh? Dialogue, do you hit computers? Privacy. Hello, it Join says, Discord. EP. Restart. Resume flight restart, tracking link. Resume. Finish the flight link. Finish. You should be able to finish. Resume. Finish um, the flight link. I hope. Okay. Logbook dash bio dot com dash run your own airline. Took me to a logbook. So yep. Visited link traffic logo. Logbook. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that first officer. So you just say like release or set parking brake. Park your brake on, parking brake off. Oh, okay. Here is a list of your visited link logbook. Link live map. Link exports a table with six column two departure, column three test, column four dip traffic tip, column five additional, column six option, row two date, column one one slash twenty eight slash twenty five. Alright guys, I'll, two, uh, I'll catch you later anyway, because it's getting late over here, but... Yeah, have yeah, a good one. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, uh, see you tomorrow okay. if you're around. Link KJFG, yeah, destination should be. column three, yeah. Maryland. Alright, see ya. Sounds good, see ya. Graphic flag, link 2W5, distance tip, column 4, 200, additional information, column 5, pilot, colon, Johnny Aircraft, 112.51 LP, options, column 6, visited, link view, row 3, yeah, date, column 1, 6, slash 19, slash 2022, yeah, departure, column 2, castle, it. graphic flag. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. So, um, guys, there's the flight right. for you. Op 29, um, start record, stop streaming, checkbox checked. We're gonna stop here for now, I'm probably gonna do another flight, I don't know if I'll go live again. Uh, I probably will, I don't know, we'll see. Um... I like the avia type stuff, and there's so much to learn on avia type. I was looking at a message. Someone said if uh, if I had time, would I go through and show the basic? Yeah. I I don't mind showing avia type, but I, I gotta refresh my memory. Like uh, there's a lot you can do on there. Yeah. A whole lot. So give me a few days to get back into it. I mean, me and Josh have done this plenty of times, but we took a break. Uh, because Microsoft took a crash and uh, now we're back to flying again but just give me give me a few days and uh, I'll show you guys avia type how to set it up and uh, how to get the get the flights could you get free flights that like they loan you an airplane in the beginning when you do you know when you do the jobs um, at some point you want to buy them and all this other stuff. You can even buy airports and you can buy your own property. Like, or, or just all kinds of stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back more than likely a little bit later. But, uh, me and Josh are going to get out of here and, uh, yeah, you guys take care. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Give it a thumbs up. That does make a difference. And again, don't forget about the, uh, subscriber contest. Whoever gets the most people over here, you can win $100, $50, $25, or even $175 of uh, gift card cash. So, yeah. All right, guys, take care. Stop streaming, checkbox, check.